How you doing guys? Jobwise Jones here coming at you to all my Jonesies out there. Got a great email today from a CNA graduate. Jonesy, how do I prepare for my CNA interview? Great question. CNA, Certified Nursing Assistant. Correct? Correct. I've got some experience there too. I have 18 years of experience in management. I've interviewed probably a thousand different types of occupations and careers. So, Let's get right down to it. Regard if it's a CNA interview, interview for a police officer, doctor, whatever, you're always going to get this first question always. So listen to this first question. It is, tell me about yourself. Standard question. What they don't want to hear is about your dog named Poo Poo and your cat named Freckles. That's not what they're asking you about, okay? What they're asking you about, what they're at, the question is being presented in a way that they want to see what are you really all about. So, you are just got done with your CNA program, right? You got your certificate. So then your question should be along, sorry, your answer should be along that line. I've always wanted to work in healthcare. Even when I was a little kid, I've liked the fact that people in healthcare help others. I like to make people smile I like to help people heal things of that nature. You want to give them a strong sense of your understanding of healthcare and why you want to be a CNA. Understand? Now, this always goes into the second question is, what made you want to be a CNA? Kind of the same answer, but a little different. Here's where you want to get a little more personal. I had a, 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 a interview about a year and a half ago for a person going for the CNA job. She said, her answer was great. She says, my grandmother has been sick for most of my life and I've always helped her. So that's a great answer. I've always wanted to help my grandma feel better and get better. And then I thought, how can I do this for others? So that's an excellent answer, right? If you could somehow personalize that answer into their overall philosophy, which of course for a CNA job, Probably a hospital, maybe a retirement home, things of that nature. If they're talking to you and hearing these answers from you, you're making yourself into that perfect F word, fit. They're looking for the fit. And already with your first two answers, you are providing the fit for them. Understand? Third question always is, <laughs> where do you see yourself in five years? Everybody always inquires with that answer, with that question, right? I do, I do it myself too. Honestly, as an interviewer, I think it's just out of curiosity, you know, because it, it, there's no yes or, or no to that answer, you know. But the answer to this question is pretty simple, actually. No matter what job you're applying for as a CNA, whether you be in a hospital, retirement home, or wherever you are, make sure in that five-year span you want to be somewhere within that job continuum in that hospital or retirement home. So typically you wanna say, I wanna be here in five years, honing my skills, helping out patients, being an effective member of the team here. Or you can even say, I wanna be a senior CNA here, helping out other CNAs to become and be the best that they can be. You want answers like that. Or you can even say, I like to pursue some education and apply it to here, maybe because like that. Or you can even say, I like to pursue some education and apply it to here, maybe become an LPN, but within the system here. Whatever your answer is, guys, I'm here. Whatever your answer is, guys, make sure that you're not saying you're gonna leave and go somewhere else. They don't want that. The reason why as a manager, I know this from personal experience is that when I train somebody, I know this affects what managers look at, the budget, right? Training people takes money. It takes a lot of money. If every CNA that comes to the door, say it takes 10,000 bucks to train them, okay? But if you have a revolving door of CNAs coming in and out within three or four months, you're losing a lot of money. So just by your answer of using the reality that you're gonna be there with that hospital or, or with the retirement home for at least the next five years, that's the perfect answer because they know you're gonna be committed to them and their patients, which is a great thing anyway, right? 
Just make sure you include their business as part of your five-year plan, all right? Number four is always the same. What are your strengths? So your strengths, you're going to be this greatest, the best CNA ever, right? So what are those kind of strengths? Well, you will say, what are my strengths? My strengths are patience. I'm a very patient person. I'm a very, very patient person. I'm caring, I'm kind, and I care about others. And I really want to be the best CNA that I can be. Those are the, that's the way you answer that question with the strengths as they apply to the job. Understand? You might be a great cook. You might be a great jogger. Doesn't matter. That's totally irrelevant. Remember, your answer should always be focused around the job itself, the CNA title. Therefore, your strengths must be around patience. You're a patient person. You're caring. You're loving. You're adoring or whatever, right? Make sure that's what you tell them because on the flip side comes the next question they always inquire. What is it? Yeah. What is your weakness? Correct? They always ask you that. You think weakness sounds bad, but it doesn't because you're going to flip it around. Make the weakness your strength. So what are my weaknesses? Um, you know, I get so into my job. I get so focused on my patients that I forget about the time sometimes. I know I'm supposed to work eight hours, but sometimes I go over eight and eight and a half, eight hours and 45 minutes because I'm worried about my patients or I'm taking care of a patient. I'm giving them a bath. I just can't stop the job. So I get over-focused sometimes, you know. I'm really getting to my patient care. Uh, what is the weakness you might have? A weakness on my house sometimes that I'm helping out one of my colleagues, my fellow CNAs on the floor. And again, I <clears throat> kind of forget the clock because I want to help out. And also, too, you know, they're help, they need help with like a lift for a patient. I just can't leave anyway, so I'm really dedicated to my patients, and sometimes that makes me a little bit over the time because I just care about my patients so much. Those are answers you want to use because you think it sounds weak, but it's not. It's really a strength, a strong answer because, yeah, sure, you're maybe a half hour overtime on the clock, which, of course, the manager is going to say, like we do, all oh, the budget. That's a, that's a reality, but <clears throat> look at what you're doing. You're doing something intrinsically good for somebody else, right? There we go. Another question you're going to have, as always, is why did you leave your last job? <laughs> or why do you want to leave your last job? Well, you just can't save for, for the cash. That won't make any sense, right? Here's the deal. Think about challenges. But remember what I always tell you. Think about what they can offer you as a CNA. So... I want to expand my horizons and challenge myself. I believe your business, hospital or retirement home, I believe your business can give me that. I want the challenges offered by your company. I want to grow with your company. I feel here I can grow, break through any kind of glass ceilings. I feel your company has great ratings on Yelp or whatever rating system is out there that rated them. Use it with them, okay? Always do that and really prop up their company and say you want, it's like you want you want them to understand and feel that you want to be part of that company. And yes, you want to be passionate like this because that's what's going to make it the difference between you and this person here. Yeah, I really want to work for the company. It hurts. It. <sighs> it's a good company to work for. I'm not going to cut it. Be passionate in your answers, okay? Now, always with CNA interviews, too, you're going to get these situational type questions that are going to come at you. It's things like sometimes you can say, um, what would you do if a patient was yelling at you? Well, typically what you would do, of course, you would always remain calm. Hear what they got to say. Make sure they're not violent. They're, they're violent and you need help, of course, right? And listen to them and then try to calm them down. Okay, what in that scenario, what if they don't calm down? Then, of course, you ring the bell or you get help to help you with the, with the patient. The interviewer is not asking you like you're supposed to be some kind of professional. They're just looking for you having the ability to answer things with common sense. That's what they're asking the question for. So don't sweat it if you don't have the right answer. There really isn't a don't, don't, don't right answer. 
they're looking, they're really testing you to see your common sense, okay? Okay, <clears throat> it's the end of the interview. Do you have any questions for us? If you say no, I'm going to be so mad at you. <laughs> always say yes. You always have questions at the end of the interview. But Jonesy, what kind of questions? Here we go. At every interview you go to, you always want to have them be interviewed too. What do you mean by that? What's, what's that mean? Okay, you're there for an interview, right? But listen, you're also interviewing them. So you have to flip it. The script sometimes and here's how you do it uh jonesy do you have any questions for us yes i do uh george george um why do you like coming here to work all breaks get hit right because what happens here is that <clears throat> you're asking george an honest question you're not trying to be a funny person or 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 see how superior you are with your question no the question is a really thoughtful question because if you are interviewing them as well, you want to know why he comes to the job, right? Why he likes it so much, right? And that's all you want to do. So all you got to do is this, is that you just got to say, sorry, yeah, you just got to ask the question of him. George, why do you like coming to work here? Or what makes you get up every morning to come to work here? And that's a fair question to ask, you know? Second question would be to, of course, as a CNA, typically that's the starting point of a medical career, right? You can say, do you offer any kind of educational opportunities here? Bing! Beautiful question, because again, that tells you, <clears throat> that tells the interviewer, this person wants to be part of this team so much, they're looking down the road and saying, okay, can I get some education here as well? That's what you want to do. And Jonesy's, you want to ask in the CNA interview three or four questions, not just one or two, three or four. But the first question I gave you, that question should always be inquired on at every interview you go to because then and there it levels the playing field between you and them. And number two, it makes them think as well about, well, why do I come to work every day, right? And they have to be honest with their answer to you, okay? So Jonesy's, good luck with your CNA interview. I will be making more videos about CNAs and what they do and so on and so forth. As I have a lot of videos I'll be making about many different career fields. I've been through most of them, you know. <laughs> I, I've, I've interviewed through most of them. So let's keep this thing going. You guys, you have any questions at all about your interview for your next CNA job, send me a little line down there to my email. I will email you. We can get a dialogue going. I can give you a couple spoof, uh, excuse me, spoof, a couple uh, practice interviews for you, of course. Um, drop me a line, subscribe and like. And guys, I appreciate it. And Jonesy's, take care and good luck.